Hi, I'm going to do a very natural bride look today. It's good for brides or bridesmaids. And I'm going to focus on heat resistant and long lasting products because I've had quite a few letters from people that are either going to weddings in hot, humid countries this summer or live in hot, humid countries. And they were really worried about their makeup and how it's going to last. So I'm going to start by using this Kiehl's product, which is the pore refining lotion. This has clay in it, lots of sort of kale in and things. And I'm going to use it, you have to really mix it because the clay goes to the bottom, it separates out. And I'm just going to buff this over my T-zone. This is really good if you're oily on your T-zone, just to help stop oily breakthrough. So just put quite a bit on. It is colourless, so it's good for all skin tones. But once it's dry, you can see if there's any white bits and then just take a dry cotton wool and buff off the white bits. Okay, next I'm gonna use some um, Max Strobe Cream. I'm just gonna use it around the outside. If you're oily all over, obviously you can use that lotion all over, but I tend to be dry around the edges and oily down the center. And if you're dry, Ignore all of this and put on either a moisturiser or a primer for dry skin. Okay, on to the foundation. I'm going to use today this one by Guerlain and it's called Parure Extreme. And this is a foundation that is waterproof. It is also factor 25, SPF 25, so it's good if you're outdoors in a hot country. And it's extreme long wear, so that should really help. I'm just going to start working this foundation really well into the skin. So I finished my foundation and that Guerlain one is really good. You can sort of feel it setting as you're applying it. It feels sort of rock solid in a way. It feels natural but you can feel like it's definitely, it's set and it is gonna stay put. I've also used concealer and I use this Lancome one. It's a duo pro. And I'm just gonna finish off just little bits of evening out. As I say, you'll have time on your wedding day to spend a bit extra concealing any bits. Okay, before I powder, I'm gonna use this lovely blusher which is Daniel Sandler Watercolor. And this is almost like a stain, you shake it up. You can apply it with fingers or you can apply it with a brush. I'm just gonna apply it with fingers. You don't need to put very much on. It's very transparent and very thin and you only need the tiniest amount. It comes in lots of different colours, so to get a rosy look, depending on your skin tone, you'll have to choose different shades. This colour is good for sort of fairer skins, but you'll need a, a deeper and more sort of rich shade if you want to get a rosy effect and you have a dark skin. And once this stuff sets, it really sets. I'm going to use my foundation brush just to take the edges off. So I've evened up both cheeks. If you feel like you put more on one than the other, just smooth in with a little bit of foundation or add more to the other one until they're pretty much even. And that's set now. Okay, I'm going to use some powder. I'm just going to use Poudre Universelle by um, Chanel. I forgot what it's called then. This isn't light reflective. I think we've got enough light reflection. We use the strobe cream underneath and that's gonna give enough of a glow. So I'm just gonna buff a really light layer all over. Again, thin layers. And this is something you can take a small compact of for a touch up if you're in a hot country. Okay, onto the eyes. I'm gonna use a long wear color mousse. I'm gonna keep the eyes really, really simple. This is like a sort of English rose makeup. It's very, very natural. It does work on all different skin tones because you can adapt it, but it's, it's just a beautiful, natural look. The one I'm choosing today is by Rimmel. And this is an eight hour wear mousse. And these are really, really good. Loads of different um, high street brands do them. 
the there's a couple by um, Max Factor here. The Max Factor ones are really good. But you can see that you can choose a darker one if you've got a dark skin tone, a lighter one if you've obviously lighter. Maybelline too have some good mousses, and as do number seven. And again, they've got sort of lighter colours for light skin, darker for darker skins. And you want it to be just not that much different from the colour of your eyelids. You can either put it on with fingers or you can dip a brush in and then just put it onto the back of your hand. Just take it all over the lid. You can see it's almost like a natural, just a glossier version of your natural colour. This look is perfect for anyone that's not really used to wearing a lot of makeup, so good for brides and bridesmaids that uh, normally wouldn't wear it. These mousses are brilliant because if you're doing your own makeup for your wedding and you're not very good with makeup, they are so foolproof. You can't really go wrong with them. You just get them on the lid and they're incredibly easy to blend. Right, next I'm going to use this uh, waterproof pencil. This is by Gosh, but most brands now have waterproof eye pencils. This is grey mink, so it's a nice soft grey. Just really massage into the roots. Give it the once over with a smoke lid brush. And then I'm going to use the same colour that I used on the lids and just put a little bit of extra shine into those corners there. Okay, so next I'm going to curl my eyelashes and to use a waterproof mascara, I'm going to use Extreme Length by number 7 Waterproof. If you give them a really good curl at the beginning of the day, they should last. So I've put mascara on top and bottom, two coats. Next I'm going to do eyebrows. Makeup Forever do a really good waterproof eyebrow gel. Suki also do a waterproof sort of felt tip which is um, very good. I'm going to use another Suki, it's a pencil, but again it's a long lasting one. Most of the brands now recognise that um, the whole long lasting thing is something that they should be investing in. So. Just look for a really good, long-lasting or waterproof eyebrow pencil. I'm going to do a strong-ish brow, just because um, the rest of my face is quite natural. It's really lots of short strokes. This is going to last a lot longer than a powder would. So now I'm going to do lips, and since this is a, going to be my long lasting makeup and put a tiny bit of lip balm on really rubbed into the lips and now I'm going to use a long lasting lip pencil this is um, indelible by L'Oreal I'm going to use it all over the lips so just using the pencil to reshape the lips you can really feel that this is not going to budge it's sort of puts a really waxy coat on the lips. And to finish off, I'm going to use a double wear lipstick by Estee Lauder, and this is Pinkberry. And these are really good, they really last. It's quite a bright pink, but I think it, once it's worked in, it'll just give a lovely sort of vibrancy to the face. So that's it, that's my almost English rose traditional wedding makeup. The emphasis here is on indestructible makeup. This is waterproof, it's not gonna smear, it's not gonna smudge. So if you're in a humid country, if you're in a hot country, you don't have to worry. And I think it works really well, especially if you've got a pinky toned wedding or berries or some kind of that sort of feel to your wedding because it'll tone in extremely well. It can be toned down for young bridesmaids so you could do a similar sort of look but obviously just more rosy cheeks on the little ones and a little tiny rose buddy mouth on the sort of on the teenagers rather if they were young girls and um, that's it this is not going to move it's going to last for all the kisses it's going to last through all the heat and um, you won't have to worry and also it's pretty simple and quite easy to do so have a wonderful wedding and um, I hope you enjoyed watching